Now, Surat ul Mumtahina. Again, you will find the same conflict between Hezbollah and Hezbollah Shaitan, but in a different way. And there is in the background an incident that took place. This, this surah was revealed in the eighth year after Hijra, just before the conquest of Makkah. When the Prophet had decided, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to invade Makkah, and he knew that the Quraysh now don't have the courage to face me. They will surrender. When we get, where we go, they will surrender. But he wanted to keep it a secret so that he should go there so that they don't have any time to think and to call, you know, their allies from there and from there and from there. Then they should be bloodshed. So he wanted to give a surprise. So he kept it secret. But one of the Sahaba, Hazrat Hatim ibn Abi Balta, Allahu Anh, he was a Mahajir from Makkah. His family was still at Makkah. And he was he participated in the Battle of Badr also. Now he thought, if this battle, you know, is fought in Makkah, maybe my family will be crushed. Maybe the Kuffar, they take revenge on my family. They are sort of hostages with them. So I should do some good to the Kuffar, to the Quraysh of Makkah so that they can have some regard for me and my family, and they spare my family. So he wrote down a letter, and he informed the chief of Makkah that Muhammad Rasulullah is planning to invade and attack Makkah. This letter was given to a woman, and she was carrying it to Makkah. But the Prophet was informed by the revelation. He called Hazrat Ali, and two more companions of the Prophet ﷺ. And he told them, a woman is taking a letter to Makkah. And she is at present at that place. Some place in between Makkah and Medina. Go and take it from her. Now they went there. The woman was there. Hazrat Ali said, give us the letter. She said, I don't know letter. I don't have a letter. Hazrat Ali threatened. We know you have a letter. This has been told to us by the Prophet of Allah. And if you don't accept, I will take off your clothing and I'll search you thoroughly. After this threat, she opened, you know, the hair locks and took out that letter out of this hair locks and presented it. So it was brought back. At that time, Hazrat Omar said, O Messenger of Allah, allow me, I should kill this Hatib ibn Balta. What a big crime he has done. The Prophet said, No. Don't you know how Umar? He is Badri. He has he was present on the day of Badr. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven those who participated in the battle of Badr. All their sins, former or future. So no, he was pardoned. So this is it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took a very serious note. What are you doing? Addresses to one Hatim ibn Balta, but there were so many Hatims over there. The Munafiqeen, it was a class. He was only a representative of that class. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu la tattakhizu aduwi wa aduwakum awliya. Now this is that polarization which I said. Hezbollah and Hezbollah shaitan. Unless this polarization is complete, you cannot hope to succeed in the conflict. It has to be very pure. Oh, you who believe, don't make friends with my enemies and your enemies. Offering them love. Although they have rejected and disbelieved what has come to you from the truth. Yukhrijuna Rasul by Yaqum. They are the ones who expelled the Messenger of Allah. And also you. Antuminu billahi wa And your fault was only this that you believe in Allah, your Lord. In kuntum kharajtum jihadan fi sabi 
ہیڈیو کا ماؤس آف منگ کا تم ایک جہاد ان مائی وے وائی ڈن یو لیو مائی کارڈ دیٹ ٹائم یو کڈ ہیو اسٹیڈ اوور دیئر دس مائگریشن فرام مکا واس سو دیٹ دی ہول فورس آف دی مسلمس کم ایٹ ون پوائنٹ سو دیٹ فرام دیٹ بیس این اٹیک آن دی کفار آف مکا کین بی لانچڈ یو مسٹ ہیو سم بیس and there the whole force should be gathered that was the reason why this hijra was made compulsory compulsory ma lakum min walayati min shayin hatta yuhajiru so much so that it was said that unless these muslims who claim to be mu'mins but they are not making hijra they are not immigrating to madina you have no connection with them till they immigrate so here also in kuntum kharajtum جہاد الفی سبیلی و ابتغا مردا تھی اف یو ہیڈ کم آؤٹ آف بکا ٹو میک جہاد ان مائی کاز اینڈ سیک مائی پلیشر تو صرف رون علیہ بل مودا تھے یو آر سینڈنگ دم سیکریٹ میسیجز آف لو مان عالم و بما فی تم بما عالم تو آئی ویری ویل نو وٹ یو کنسیل اینڈ ہائڈ اینڈ وٹ یو reveal and say out from my fall home in kum whosoever from among us you takes this attitude does this faqad dalla sawa sabil so he has strayed very far off from the right path in yastafukum if they overcome you yakunu lakum adan they will treat you as enemies wa yasutu ilaihim ilaikum aidiyahum wa alsanatuhum bisu and they will extend their stretch against you their hands and their tongues with evil waddu la takfur wa waddu la takfurun and they will desire that you should come back to your kufr come back to the religion of your forefathers lan tanfaqum arhamukum your relationships due to the wombs of the mother will be of no avail to you wala auladakum now your children yawm al qiyama these things are not going to count on the day of the resurrection yasalu bainakum allah subhanahu wa taala will judge between you and give his awards wallahu bima ta'maluna basir and verily whatever you are doing allah is seeing qad kanat lakum uswatun hasanatun fi ibrahim wal ladina ma'ahu indeed there is for you an excellent example in ibrahim and those who are with him is qalu when they said to their people inna buraw minkum we are quit of you absolutely disconnected from you wa mimma ta'budun and also from those whom you are worshiping min durillah beside allah kafarna bikum we have rejected you وَبَدَا بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمُ الْعَدَاوَةُ وَالْبَغْضَاءُ وَبَدَا And between you and us, an enmity and hatred had started. And it will remain forever. حَتَّى تُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَحْدَهُ Until you come to believe in Allah, Allah alone. So this is the conflict. محمد الرسول اللہ والذین معاہو اشداء علی الکفار الرحماء بہنا We read it in Surah Al-Fatih in the end This relationship of love and friendship of a moment, truly believing moment can be only with a moment انما وليكم اللہ ورسوله والذین آمنوا Verily your friend and protector is only Allah and his messenger and those who have faith, who have iman. Illa qawla Ibrahim, except one saying of Ibrahim, le abihe, which he said to his father, la staghfiran malak, I will definitely ask for forgiveness for you. Wa ma abliku laka min Allahi min shayi. Although I don't own anything about you, I have no authority about you regarding you from Allah. رَبَنَا عَلَيْكَ تَوَكَّلْنَا وَإِلَيْكَ عَنَبْنَا وَإِلَيْكَ الْمَصِيرِ Over Lord, we put our trust in you and we turn to you 
and to you is the final and eventual return. Now this was the only exception. But we have read in Surah Al-Tawbah that in the end of the Ibrahim alayhi salam, he declared himself away from his father also. When he came to know that he is Adumwalillah, that he is a bitter enemy to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then he said, okay, now there is no relationship between you and me. رَبَّنَا لَا تَجَلْنَا فِتْنَةً لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَغْفِرْ لَنَا O our Lord, don't make us a tool of those who disbelieve, tool of trial. You are trying them on us, allow them to persecute us. The trial is from you, but at the hands of these dis disbelievers. So as if you have made us a tool to test these people, these dis disbelievers. لَا تَجْعَلْنَا فِتْمَةً لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَغْفِرْ لَنَا and forgive us. رَبَّنَا O our Lord, إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Verily, you are the mighty, the wise. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِيهِمْ مُسْوَةٌ Verily, for you, there is an example in them. لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ But this example can be followed only by whom? Who hopes Allah وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ And the last day. Whosoever believes in Allah, the same word is what they are in Surah Al-Ahzab. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرَ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَسِيرًا Three preconditions you have to fulfill if you want to follow the model of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرَ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَسِيرًا Here too, لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرَ Whosoever hopes to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whosoever is fearful of the day of judgment. وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّ فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ وَالْغَنِيُّ الْحَمِيدُ And whosoever turns away from this right path, then Allah is self-sufficient and praiseworthy. He doesn't need anybody. أَسَ اللَّهُ يَجَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ عَادَيْتُمْ مِنْهُمْ مَوَدَّهُ It's just possible that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring about love between you and those of them with whom you are at enmity. This condition can come to an end, this, this enmity. When? If they accept Islam, if they change their position, from that side they, turn, they cross to this side. Wallahu Qadir, Allah is, is, is powerful. After all, after a few, you may say, not, less, not more than two years after this conquest of Makkah, Whole of Arabia became Muslim. Now that enmity finished. Because they have crossed over. From disbelief to belief. To ask Allah, Ya Jalla Bainakum wa Baina Nazina Adetum minhum, Mawaddatan. Wallahu Qadir. Allah is our powerful. Wallahu Ghafuru Rahim. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتخسطوا إليهم إن الله يحب المخسطين. Indeed, Allah doesn't forbid you regarding those who never fought against you and who never expelled you from your houses that you be kind to them and deal with them justly. This is the point that I made clear. In regarding the ayah number 13 of Surah Al Hujurat, that Muslim society, Muslim state, it has its own boundaries. The member of a Muslim society is only a Muslim. Full citizen of an Islamic state is only a Muslim. But there are two relationships of these Muslims with all the mankind. One is that the same Allah created them who created us. Number two, they are also the progeny of Adam and Eve, alayhi salam, just like us. So a friendship, a fraternity, a brotherhood, it, it can go on. But those who are hostile, who are opposing Allah, yuhaddun Allah wa rasulahu, the matter is different. Now they are your enemies. You have to be very severe on them, very strict. Very hard. 
محمد رسول اللہ ولدین عام اشد کفار تو دس از اٹ لائن حاکم اللہ الزین لم یو کا لوکم فدین اللہ ڈزن فربڈ یو ٹو ہیو ریلیشن وتھ دوز وہ نیور فاک یو اگینسٹ یو ریگارڈنگ دین لم یو فرج کم دیا کم دے نیور ایکسپیل یو فرام یور ہاؤسز ان تب روح دیٹ یو شو دیم کائنڈنیس و تخصت الحم and you deal with them justly in the lahi yuhibbul muqsitin where really allah likes and loves those who are equitable innama yanhaakum allah anil ladina qatalukum fid din allah is forbidding you from making friendship and taking them as friends those who fought against you fid din regarding your din wa akhrajukum min diyarikum and they expel you from your homes wa zahru ala ikhrajikum and they helped each other supported each other in your expulsion anta wallahum that you become friends with them wa man yatawallahum and whosoever becomes a friend with them fa ulaika humul zalimun then definitely they are the evil doers ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu idha jaakum al mu'minatu muhajiratin famtanihun famtahinuhunna now behind this these ayat is also an incident at the treaty of hudaybiyah because i told you these ayat were revealed in the eighth year when the hudaybiyah treaty was concluded it was decided that if some muslim comes from makkah to madina runs away his parents or his relatives had tied him down in chains but now somehow he, bro- he broke the chains and come over to M- madina he will have to be returned but if someone from madina goes and joins kufar the kufar of madina will not move of makkah will not return him this was one of the two unequal terms but what about women this question was not settled at that time and it was a sensitive issue a relationship of marriage a muslim has migrated the wife is there and she is kafira mushrika is she still your wife or not or if a woman in makkah she embraces islam and comes over to madina are you bound to return them according to the term of the treaty of hudaybiyah but then such a case came before the prophet he decided no the terms of hudaybiyah contract never covered women they are exempt if a muslim woman he comes to madina he will not she will not be returned but there was a possibility maybe the mushrikeen the enemies are sending spies in their guise so this is the instruction when some momina some momin woman comes over from makkah to madina then test her whether she is really a mu'min or not ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu idha jaakum al mu'minat wa muhajiratin o you who believe when mu'min believing women come to you immigrating fam tahinu hunna so test them allah alam bi imanihin allah very well knows whether they have iman or not and nobody can know it surely but you can guess you can judge talk to them you will come to know whether she is sincere mu'mina or not fa in alim tumu hunna mu'minatin then if you conclude that they are truly believing women wala tarjuu hunna ila al-kuffar don't return them to the unbelievers la hunna hillun lahum now they are not lawful for them now this woman had a husband and he is a kafir but due to her becoming a momin momina now that ba- this bond of marriage has broken now she is not lawful wife of that kafir husband at makkah lahum lahum nahillun lahum neither are these women lawful for those men walahum yahillun lahunna nor are they those kufar men 
lawful for these Muslim women. وَآتُهُمْ مَا أَنْفَقُوا Now they could say, the kafir husband, I paid her so much, don't worry. So you return. Oh Muslims, you pay him back. Okay? This woman has entered Islam. She is our sister. She is with us now. You pay so much door, we pay you the door. آتُهُمْ مَا أَنْفَقُوا وَلَا جُنَحَ عَلَيْكُمْ أَنْ تَرْكِهُهُنَّ إِذَا آتَيْتُمُ هُنَّ عَجُوِ عُجُورَهُنَّ And there is no blame on you that you marry them. When you pay them their door. Because now that husband has got divorced. But there is no need of any divorce. Because he is kafir and she has become a momina. So the bond of marriage is already finished. So there is no harm. Now you can marry him. Marry her. وَلَا تُمْسِكُوا بِعِسَمِ الْكَوَافِرِ In this same way, O Muslims, you don't hold with you those women in the bond of marriage who are kafira, mushrika, and still staying at Makkah. وَلَا تُمْسِكُوا بِعِسَمِ الْكَوَافِرِ And don't hold not to the, and hold not to the ties of marriage of disbelieving women. وَسَلُوا مَا أَنْفَقْتُمْ And you also ask, for what dover you had paid to them. Well, yes, man, Fakhu. And let them ask, demand from you what they had spent. Now, this is, you know, it seems there's some understanding between the Kuffar and the Muslims because the treaty was there. And this is all being done in that special environment of that treaty. Zalikum hukmullah. This is the command of Allah. Yahkumu bainakum. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides between you and commands you. Wallahu alimun hakim and Allah is all knower, all wise. Fain fatakum shayumin azwajikum ilal kuffar. Now if any part of doors of your wives has passed away from you to the disbelievers, so fa'akabtum. So when you have your turn of triumph, you have some booty. Fa'atul lazina zahabat azwajuhum. So now give some money to those whose wives have gone and they are not paying big the dowers also. Masnaman Faku, whatsoever they had spent on those wives who remained back in Makkah. And have fear of Allah on whom you believe, on whom you have faith and trust. Now, Ya Yuha Nabi, Ya Yuha Nabi, Ya Yuha Nabi, Now this is the subject of Baya again. Baya we had, number one, in Surah Al-Tawbah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ اشْتَرَى مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَمَلَاكُمْ بَيْنَ لَهُمُ الْجَنَّةِ And in the end, فَاسْتَبْشِرُوا بِبَعِكُمُ الَّذِي بَعْيَعْتُمْ بِهِ This bond of Iman is a bond of, it's a matter of sale and purchase. A believer, he sells himself and his belongings to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the price is Jannah. But then on that basis, this bayah was taken by the Prophet ﷺ. In the ladhina yubayyuna ka inna ma yubayyuna Allah. And we have read it in Surah Al-Fatr. Verily, who are giving you their bayah, who are pledging themselves to you, O Muhammad ﷺ. Actually, they are giving their bayah to Allah. Over your two hands, hand of Muhammad ﷺ, the hand of the person who was giving bayah, there is a third hand also. Yadu Allahi fawqa aidihim. Allah's hand is over their hands. So it's a tripartite agreement. Sale deed is between Allah and the believer woman. But now, the believer woman will spend his life, his time, his money according to the command of Muhammad Sallallahu Now this bayah was the basis of this jamaah that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam established. So there's a hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim both. From Mubarak ibn Sabiq Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu. بَعَيَانَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمُ عَلَى السَّمْعِ وَالْتَعَاتِ فِي الْعُسْرِ وَالْيُسْرِ وَالْمَنْشَتِ وَالْمَكْرَهِ وَعَلَى عَصَرَةٍ عَلَيْنَا وَعَلَى أَلَّا نُنَازِ الْأَمْرَاهِ لَهُ وَعَلَى أَنَّ قُولَ بِالْحَقِّ عَيْنَ بَاكُنَّا لَا نَخَافُ Number two, obey him. Number three, fil usr. 
whether it is difficult, number four, or easy. Number five, fil manshat, whether we feel like doing it, feel inclined towards that, wal makra, or we have to force ourselves to do it. Wa ala asaratin alayna, although others might be preferred to us, we shall never say we are your old friends and old comrades, old servants. How come? You have appointed a newcomer as a meal or us? No, no. It's your prerogative. You fix whomsoever you like. And we shall not quarrel with those whom you place at the helm of affairs regarding discipline. But we shall give our honest opinions every what all times, everywhere, anywhere we shall have we, we shall be, wherever we shall be. And we shall not fear that may people laugh at it, what he is saying. So this nine articles of Baya, Muttafaqul Alayh, Bukhari and Muslim both contains this. But now, Quran mentions the Baya of men, but these articles of Baya are not given in Quran. They are in the Hadith, although it is Muttafaqul Alayh Hadith. Regarding authenticity is very close to Quran, Muttafaqul Alayh Hadith. Regarding its authenticity, comes very close to Quran. But regarding women, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them a privilege that their bear, the items of bear are given here in ayah. Ya yu nabi, o nabi, o, o messenger, o prophet. Iza jaakal mu'minato yubayenaka. When believing women come to you to pledge themselves. Allah, now these are the articles. Allah yushrikna billahi shayyan, number one. They will not associate with Allah anything. Wala yasrikna. And they won't steal. Wala yasnina. They won't commit adultery. Wala yaktullah auladahunna. They will not kill their offspring. Wala yatina bi buhtanin. Yaftarina hu bayna yadiyahunna wa arjuyihinna. And they will not come up with a calumny, slander that they might forge between their hands and their feet, and that they will not lastly, six. Wala yasina kafi marufin, that they will not disobey you in whatever is right that is within the limits of the Sharia. Six articles of baya for women. Now what was the benefit of this baya? The women folk also had a feeling that we belong to this party. Although the, the active, you know, participation in jihad and qital, that was not binding on them. But a sense of a sense of belonging to a group, belonging to a party. This jama'ah, concept of jama'ah is so important that women should also be included in that. Fabayehunna, so O Muhammad Sallallahu accept their da'ah, wastaqfir lahunna Allah, and ask Allah forgiveness for them. In Allah Ghafur Rahim, verily Allah is forgiving, merciful. Ya Yulazina Amanu La Tatawalla Kawman Ghazib Allah. Now this is the final touch of this discussion which we have we having from Suratul Mujadala, Suratul Hashr, this conflict, Hezbollah, Hezbul, etc. Final. La Tatawalla Kawman Ghazib Allah. Don't make friends with those. Allah's wrath is on them, on whom there is wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have rejected the faith, they are opposing Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they are resisting the establishment of the of Allah on earth. Don't make friends with them. Qad yaisu bin al-akhirati kama yais al-kuffaru bin ashab al-kubur. These people have despaired absolutely from hereafter. Just as they believe disbelievers despair. These players who are the inmates of the graves, they have despaired. Despaired of what? They have despaired from the mercy of Allah. They know we, we are not going to have any mercy. Or they have despaired that they these kuffar have despaired that those who are in graves that cannot be resurrected. These are the two ways in which this ayah has been translated. <laughs>